the Cronin Squall melts your opponents. And I managed to get win after win using this loadout. The Cronin Squall is an excellent short to mid range gun that is really going to excel as a sniper support. It will absolutely delete your enemies in no time, leading them to wonder what killed them so quickly. The only thing that you need to know when using this gun is that the recoil goes up and left instead of the typical up and right that most other guns have. But once you get that worked out, you're gonna decimate any enemy. So let's jump into the best beginner level attachments, which will be fully accessible by the the time you have the Cronin Squall to weapon level 9 and contains no attachments from other weapons so you don't have to worry about trying to work out any replacement attachments because you don't have certain ones unlocked yet. This is also the case for the fully leveled loadout but the pro level loadout will contain the best attachments regardless of how you unlock them but I will tell you exactly how to get each one of them so you can get this gun fully equipped as soon as possible. So jumping into the best beginner level barrel we're taking the HR 6.8 barrel for better bullet velocity and recoil control then for the ammunition take the 6.8 8 high velocity rounds for more bullet velocity. For the magazine, take the 30 round mag to let you kill more people without having to reload. And lastly, for the comb, we're taking the demo flat comb for more flinch resistance, allowing you to stay on target whilst getting shot at. You can see the full build on the screen now. And yeah, we're only taking four attachments here, as the other ones unlocked by this point aren't really worth using and don't really complement the gun in the way that you want to use it. But if you have any low zoom optics unlocked, then stick one of those on, with my preference being the Chrono Mini Pro or the Amo PV4. However, if you haven't already but would like to see more no nonsense beginner full level and pro level attachment guides then hit that like and subscribe button with the notifications bell on now moving on to the fully leveled attachments but as a bonus all these attachments will be unlocked by weapon level 23 but you'll have to wait until max level for the tuning for the barrel take the hr 6.8 barrel again for better bullet velocity and recoil control and for the tuning go up and left for the muzzle take the cronin spdr for better recoil control and sound suppression and for the tuning go up and right and on to the ammunition type take the 6.8 high velocity rounds for better bullet velocity and more recoil control and for the tuning go down and left. For the magazine take the 50 round drum to kill more enemies per magazine and lastly for the stock take the B66 pad for better recoil control and for the tuning don't do anything on the left hand slider and for the bottom slider you want to be going left. However at the time of recording this video the second ZX grip is currently bugged and you can't actually take it which would be the better attachment here unless you actually have the Viberon blueprint unlocked in the battle pass on sector C18 where if you select that blueprint you can actually use the second ZX grip as it comes attached. So if you have that, then use this grip. Otherwise, the stock will be fine. And you can see the tuning for the rear grip now. You can see the full build on the screen now. However, if you did want to take an optic, which I haven't included, as you won't have any unlocked on this gun's progression tree, then swap out the ammunition type for low zoom optic, with my preference being the Krona Mini Pro or the Amo PV4. Now let's move on to the pro level loadout. This contains attachments from leveling up multiple different guns, but gives you a huge advantage when using them. However, the core weapon attachments are unlocked by getting the Cronin Squall to weapon level 23. And don't worry, I'll tell you how to unlock each and every other single attachment. For the barrel, we're gonna be taking the HR 6.8 barrel again for better bullet velocity and recoil control. And for the tuning, go up and left. For the muzzle, take the Bore 490 for great horizontal recoil control, while still giving you a solid amount of vertical recoil control too. And for the tuning, go up and right. And this is unlocked by getting the EBR 14 marksman rifle to weapon level 12. That will unlock you the SO14 battle rifle, which you'll need to get to weapon level 14, then you'll have the Bore 490 unlocked. Now moving on to the underbarrel, here we'll be taking the Lock Grip Precision 40, which offers the best horizontal and vertical recoil control out of all the underbarrel attachments, and for the tuning go down and left. This is unlocked by getting to player level 16, which will unlock you the Lackman 762, which you'll then need to get that to weapon level 13 to unlock the Lackman 556. You'll then need to get that to weapon level 12 to unlock the Lackman submachine gun, which you'll need to get to weapon level 9. Then you'll have the lock grip precision attachment unlocked. Now moving on to the magazine, take the 50 round mag for more bullets, allowing you to kill more enemies without having to reload. Then lastly for the optic, take the AMOP V4, which is unlocked by getting the Bass P to weapon level 5. However, if you don't have this unlocked, then take any other low zoom optic. My preference would be the Krona Mini Pro, which is unlocked by getting the Expedite 12 to weapon level 11, with this gun being unlocked by getting to player level 9, so it's definitely the easy option here. For the tuning on both, go down and right. You can see the full build on the screen now but let me know in the comments section below what you're enjoying or hating the most out of season 3. Personally I think it's a massive L that they've removed the solos playlist from Almazra leaving me to play a Sheikah Island which I know a lot of people like but it just isn't my cup of tea which is causing a lot of frustration for me but if you'd like to see the best lack 
Hackman submachine gun loadout to help you unlock that underbarrel attachment for the pro leveled loadout, then click on the video on the left. But if you'd like to see the best loadout for the TAC 56, which has no recoil, then click on the video on the right. But if you haven't already and would like to see more no nonsense beginner, full level, and pro level attachment guides, then hit that like and subscribe button with the notifications bell on.